It all began in 1860 in China, where herbalist Ang Chu Kin was sent to Rangoon by his father to help in his uncle's herbal shop. There, he developed his own family business named Ang On Tong, or Hall of Everlasting Peace, and developed the product that would be later known as Tiger Balm. Before Ang Chu Kin died in 1908, he asked his sons, Ah Boon Par, Gentle Leopard, and Ah Boon Ha, Gentle Tiger, to perfect the product. They did not disappoint. Ah Boon Ha was a naturally good marketeer, and in 1920, the two brothers moved to Singapore and set up their main office on Neil Road. Boon Ha's marketing campaign included having a unique hexagonal jar for Tiger Balm, driving around in a tiger car, having parades, and in 1937, he opened the Tiger Balm Gardens in Walt Disney-like fashion. This would be later known as Ha Par Villa. Though Tiger Balm survived World War II, their existence was threatened in the 1970s. They were acquired by James Slater Securities in 1971, and they gave a 20-year distribution license to Thailand's Jack Chia Group. The license did not include distribution in the US or Europe. At the same time, the Jack Chia Group started developing a competitive product called Lion Bomb. They were sued later. After the license expired in 1991, Hopar Corporations expanded manufacturing by establishing four joint ventures, hiring Beatty ads, and investing $10 million in advertising. They expanded their reach all over the world, and by 2008, Tiger Balm was available in over 60,000 outlets. Over the years, Tiger Balm has extended its product lines by introducing variations of the original formula, patches, mosquito repellents, and sports gels. They even sponsored the Los Angeles and Boston marathons to gain exposure. After Asia, their biggest markets are the US and Europe, where Caucasians are their top customers. Now, we take a deeper look into the company. Good evening, everyone. Our team is here to report on Tiger Balm. The team is made up of Animesh, Judy, Plug, Shirley, and I'm Lalita. And we are here to analyze Tiger Balm's global corporate strategy and propose recommendation to improve its standing in the Southeast Asian market. With nearly 100 years of proven success in almost 100 countries, Tiger Balm has become the world's leading analgesic remedy that works where it hurts. This innocuous looking box with its distinct hexagonal package and pouncing tiger logo contains a magic potion which has a wide number of usages. It is proven safe and effective for pain relief, a joint relaxing, and a mosquito repellent. It is also known to provide relief from seasickness. I'm going to discuss about how Tiger Balm creates its value by walking through the Tracy's model. The idea of Tracy's business model is that only by integrating or taking into consideration its customer, competitor, and competencies, a sustained competitive advantage can exist for a firm. Now let's delve down to the first C, which is customer. How for healthcare, through the Tiger Balm brand, is targeting health conscious customers with active lifestyle. Their brand philosophy is that everyone should be able to lead a full and active life without any ailments such as aches, pains, and everyday discomforts. They are targeting broad customer segments in terms of demographics ranging across all ages and multiple generations. The second portion of the three C's business model is the competition. Tiger Balm competitors are Salon Pass, Yoko Yoko, Fix Paper Up, Biofreeze, and Pouncher Paint as muscle paint relievers. And is also competing with Benadryl as each relievers. So what differentiate Tiger Balm from the aforementioned brand are its competencies, which also is the third portion of the three C's. Tiger Balm has successfully positioned itself as a heritage brand. It has made the leap from its humble Asian beginnings as a folk remedy to a truly international brand. Travelers from overseas see it as a must-buy from the region, Outside of Asia, they also regard it as a herbal alternative to prescription drugs or pharmaceutical products. The brand also epitomizes the best of both worlds, tradition and innovation. 
which we can see from the increase of product offerings they have, which aims to retain their older customers while capturing the next generation of younger customers. It also plays itself as a one product for all types of situation, which in itself may possess a weakness for the brand in terms of strategy and marketing focus. Up to 2014, how far healthcare strategies in the Southeast Asian market can be outlined as First, expanding its product breadth through product extension. Second, creating strategic alliances in key markets for successful market penetration. Third, acquiring firms which strengthen proper healthcare strategy football in Southeast Asia. And lastly, increasing its brand presence in emerging markets. As for Tiger Balm financial performance, Tiger Balm sales achieved a 12% growth in 2013 and 18% growth in 2014. The sales increased from 81 million in 2011 to 122 million in 2014. Meanwhile, its operating profit remains high with a significant growth. The operating profit growth was 51% in 2013 and 31% in 2014. This boosted its operating profit margin from about 19% to almost 30% within the past three years. From its latest sales data, about 60% of its sales came from Asia. The sales in this market significantly increased from 57 million in 2012 to 56 million in 2013. Looking at the financial performance of Tiger Balm, we can see that Tiger Balm is doing very well. Its advertising strategy pushes its revenue growth, while the ability to handle the raw material cost helped operating profit margin increase from 19% to 25% and now nearly 30%. Since there are still many opportunities for Tiger Balm to grow in both Asian market and international market, we expect that Tiger Balm can keep this momentum in the future. I would I would usually apply a uh, tiger balm or any uh, ointment. Use your core, your core. Salon pass. Oh yeah, I heard that before. Oh yeah. Hot heat. Hot pavila. Hot hot. Um. I don't know, that's a product where my parents and grandparents use it. Singaporean. Great. But I don't know if they have something like for uh, muscle pain. I don't know. No. no. This, is, this doesn't appeal to us. It, it, it looks like those products where older generation would use. No, I wasn't aware, no. No. Rebranding. No. I this line of product extensions where packaging is more modern. I haven't seen that product for quite some time, but as far as I can remember, it's pretty old and. I mean, the packaging itself looks so dated. On various sources, it was cited that Tiger Bond's popularity was due to effective distribution channels and the creation of durable assets, which referred to branding and marketing strategies. Since we were unable to obtain the supplier information from Tiger Bomb, we would like to focus on the buyer side, especially around the distribution channels in Singapore and its current marketing strategy. The pricing of Tiger Bomb product is not fixed, but varies from store to store. In our field research, we can see that in official retailers such as Watson's, the traditional packaging of Tiger Bomb ointment costs around five to six Singapore dollars. However, in Chinatown, the same product costs only two to three Singapore dollars. From this, we believe Tiger Bomb holds more bargaining power with its official retailers due to contract. However, all the small stores in Chinatown bought Tiger Bomb products through a wholesalers. With the different layers of control, Tiger Bomb might not have the same leverage that it has with the official retailers. With this, we suspect that the small stores are able to obtain Tiger Bomb products at a cheaper price. Because the wholesaler controls the distribution, if the wholesaler is not reinforcing the pricing, the store can price Tiger Bomb products at its own discretion. Because of this, the stores in Chinatown sets its Tiger Bomb price based on its competitive signals to create competitive pricing. 
Tiger Balm is a quintessential example of a brand that has been able to create and capture value. However, though it has achieved great success with brand expansion in recent years, it still needs to continue being aggressive in order to protect that value and not fall into complacency. Because Tiger Balm's marketing and formula are very easy to replicate, it must always be on its toes to face new entrants into the industry. One of the potential challenges that it might face is their inability to grow its extension organically without stepping outside the brand promise. Its tagline of works where it hurts can only be applied to so many products that relieve pain, and currently it looks like it is about to exhaust all the possible product categories that it can go into. At the same time, even though it is an Asian brand, it has gained faster popularity abroad than its home, and that's probably because its communication in Asia are not as exciting as the ones it uses abroad, so it might need to make more investments there. The communications that it uses in the West are spicier with elements of sexiness to them, while the communications in the U.S. include top athletes such as Tiger Woods and uh, are mentioned on Twitter by pop stars such as Lady Gaga, uh, the ones in Asia have more of a familial tone to them. Images of a child who sprained his ankle and a mother tending to him are very common. Next, we look at some of the recommendations we have for Tiger Balm. So Lolita, do you have any strategic recommendation for Tiger Balm? for the year 2015 and beyond? Well, Tiger Balm is losing some of its margin by the differentiated selling price among the different stores in Singapore. We would recommend Tiger Balm have clear and transparent distribution channels. When the distribution channels are more transparent, then Tiger Balm has more bargaining power to enforce the pricing guideline among its distributors at the retail stores. What do you think, Shirley? Well, I think that Tiger Balm's marketing strategy hasn't been effective among the younger consumers. From our interviews, the younger consumers still view Tiger Balm as an old product. Tiger Balm can promote its active product line by sponsoring more national sports or marathon events. As for the shoulder and head wrap, Tiger Balm can target young professionals in an office setting instead of doing mass marketing. We really hope you enjoyed watching our video. The next time you're a guardian, Watson, or even Chinatown, make sure you pick up a jar of Tiger Mom. It really works where it hurts. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I think you kind of. Yeah, All right, I one more. <laughs> we really. <laughs> <laughs> we really hope you enjoyed watching our video. The next time you're at Watson's, Guardian's, or even Chinatown, make sure you pick up a jar of Tiger Mom. It really works where it hurts. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Lolita, what do you think? Oh, hold on. <laughs> do you have any recommendation for? We really hope you enjoyed watching our video. No, I touched your hair. <laughs> We really hope. <clears throat> we really hope. <laughs> <laughs> we really hope. We really enjoy.